Anyone driving by uh, Falls Church High School this afternoon would have seen dozens of police officers and firefighters hustling hundreds of students away from the building. Digital correspondent Amandro Truel reports it was only a drill. Even the emergency responders were kept in the dark about the nature of their challenge. The drill began as a medical emergency at Falls Church High School. There will be some surprises in store for them. <laughs> became a Columbine type attack. Male subject with a gun, no further information at this time. As well as a hostage standoff with mass casualties. I fell and I busted my head. Gunshot, gunshot wound, got shot. Yeah, we have a report of one officer down, several students down. 17 Fairfax police officers from two substations eventually responded. There will be an ambush uh, that happens right away, which is going to uh, take out uh, a couple of our officers. Officer down! Those drill participants that survived had their hands full. Lots of students, uh, lots of injuries that they're going to come across. Uh, they're going to come across uh, injured or simulated dead police and fire personnel. Uh, so they're going to they're have a lot of things that they're going to have to assess and decide. All, of, all the while, they're going to be hearing gunshots going off, and they're going to have to chase down that shooter. The next subject went to the east rear hallway of the school. The second phase of this drill involved fire and emergency responders from Fairfax and Arlington, the same personnel who would have arrived on the scene to treat dozens of badly hurt victims. Some have got about 30 or 40 uh, walking wounded that they're currently being evaluated. They're in triage. They're setting up a liaison with the police department right now to kind of work on the building that's on fire. Uh, as well as the hostile gunmen inside working with the police department. So there's a lot of, lot of things going on. I'm sure the incident commander has his hands full right now. And really, it's not a right or wrong. It's going to be seen really what we can do better. In Falls Church, Armando Truel, 9 News Now, and WUSA9.com. That response will be evaluated.